Yes, Arnold. <laughs> My low gravity attack, tomato. Igor, the root of major target. I christen thee the USS Arnold. Yes, master. Bottle? Bottle. Towel? Towel. I was afraid of that. Now, there's no alternative. We have to wake up, Patty. Goodbye, Uncle Wilbur. See you in two weeks. Bye, Mr. Finletter. Oh, this is going to be fun, Chad. I hope Uncle Wilbur can take care of things while we're at camp. Okay, happy campers, listen up. Sense Lady has just a few last-minute instructions. Oh, First of all, seat belts on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Planted firmly on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seats in an upright position. Good. And each of us sitting up straight. Mm -hmm. No chewing gum. Take shallow breaths. Think happy thoughts. Recycle your cans and look before you leave. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe my parents made me come on this stupid summer camp thing. I mean, there is dirt, there are bugs, and, like, no bones either. Oh, how like Mondo Primitivo. And, like, if I see a bug, I think I'll just break. You like my nails? I found this, like, darling little place at the Galleria where they only charge $70 a piece. <gasps> really? Oh, they're darling. I'm so jealous. <laughs> One of my first experiments. Larry? Larry. How big is this Larry grown? Hmm. If the rate of growth has remained constant, by my calculations, Larry should now be over two miles in diameter. T -t two? Whoa! Yes, whoa! Whoa to San Zucchini when Larry awakens and moves. It should be an 8.5 on the Richter scale. <laughs> Yeah, Einstein. 
Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to let them bring their chemistry set. You were right. Too much fulminant of mercury. Ah, uh, we'll do better next time, my man. Hi. Isn't it a glorious morning? But it's so green here. The nitrogen content of the soil must be very high. I'm not a dweeb. I'm just trying to be friendly. You're so, so different. You're abnormal, you know? Uh, and the way you talk, like, is so totally strange, you know, like, <laughs> gag me with a thesaurus. <laughs> personal touch. Someone has to go down and wake him up. Not me, Master. Of course not. Larry is primitive, unsophisticated. He doesn't speak English. Not that you do. No, I have some specialist in mind for this job. I guess I'm the man for the job. Good morning, campers, and welcome to Camp Zucchini. I'd like to introduce the rest of our staff. Amnesia, the log lady, will be teaching woodcraft. Our own San Zucchini Town Sensor will be teaching hygiene. Mm -hmm. Cleanliness is next to good taste. Communications and speech. And our PE instructors, Fritz and Schlitz. That's right. Listen to me now, you little boily boys. And you little girly girls. We are here to pump you up. Oh, brother. Now then, any questions? Yeah. Where are the Einstein twins? Instantaneous combustion of certain volatile compounds. <laughs> what a dweeb! Did you just fall in from the moon or something? Nicest tomato I know. Oh, thanks, Chad, but I don't want to be a tomato. You know I'd give anything to be a real girl. So, my little turncoat tomato wants to be a real girl, huh? That gives me a fiendish idea. <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? There are no snakes down there. Rats? No. Bugs? Bugs? Mugs? Boards. Boards. Why did it have to be boards? Careful with this stuff. Lose our government contract? Nonsense. 
sense. That doesn't. You're not blowing up any more of this camp. You can just blow up down there. Blow up? What? TV broadcasting live and unrehearsed from the shores of beautiful Lake Leak. A 5.5, uh, uh, 4.7, 5.2, uh, a very big earthquake struck San Zucchini today. But as you can see, damage here is slight. There have been rumors that this earthquake was somehow caused by tomato activity, but this reporter can categorically state that there is no tomato activity here. This is Whitley White. A good day. I thought that went very well. And my hair looked especially good today. Ah! <laughs> Actually, you're a tomato. Part tomato, thanks to you. Exactly. And you'd like to be a real human girl. Well, I created you, and I can make that possible. <gasps> you can? Well, of course I can. But you must realize that my services aren't free. In exchange for permanent humanhood, you must perform a teensy little task for me. Like what? I have a little problem named... Larry, control him for me with your telepathic tomato powers. No one will get hurt, will they? No, of course not. This is a Saturday morning cartoon. We can't hurt anyone. <laughs> Shut up. 
Excellent. Is he ready? Watch! full of volatile gas that's been building up under him for years, like a giant compost pile. <laughs> oh, kind of like stewing in your own juices, eh, Doc? The gas is highly unstable. One spark, and boom! It'll go off like a pot of baked beans. But in a few minutes, he'll be strong enough to leave his crater, and then he'll be invincible. Nothing could hurt a tomato that big. He'll split the San Andreas Fault and dump the West Coast into the Pacific. Tora! Tora! How was your woman? Gas, huh? Come on, I've got an idea. It's time! He's ready! Move Larry out of his crater! How do you like them, tomatoes? I was going to make you a real girl! I was! I was! Why did you betray me? Because I could not betray my friends, no matter how much I was tempted. You will control Larry for me, or you'll just be a tomato forever! A squashed tomato! Where is it? Looking for this. Oh, life is full of disappointment, isn't it? Come back here, you poor excuse for a tomato! You'll never be your man! Do you hear me? Never! Don't burst a vessel, Doc. Gall! Just look on the bright side. There may be no way to control Larry, but hey, there's no way to stop him either. That's right. As soon as he leaves his crater, we've won. <laughs> We're on Hot Skits Network. Try this at home. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Now, this is how I'd like you to read it. I understand. I 
say Life with Louie is on every Saturday morning on Fox Kids. You're talking to Louie's dad, an old army vet that knows how to take orders. Now listen up. Watch Life with Louie later today on Fox Kids. And remember, I'm in charge. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Thank you.